Noah's Big Boat The Tale of Noah's Ark and the Great Flood The Tale of Noah's Ark and the Great Flood is a significant and detailed narrative found in the book of Genesis. It is a story of divine judgment, human wickedness and ultimate redemption through the obedience of one man. Noah. The wickedness of the world. The narrative begins by depicting the world as corrupt and filled with violence. Human wickedness has become great on the earth and every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. God was grieved that he had made humankind on the earth and his heart was filled with pain. However, Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. He was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. God's command to Noah. God informed Noah about his intention to destroy every living creature because the earth was filled with violence through them. But he provided Noah with a means of salvation, a plan to save himself, his family, and the earth's biodiversity. God instructed Noah to build an ark of cypress wood with rooms inside coated with pitch inside and out. He gave Noah the exact dimensions and design for the ark and directed him to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with him. Noah was also to take every kind of food to be eaten and store it away as food for him and for the animals. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. The Great Flood. Noah entered the ark with his sons, his wife, and his sons' wives. Seven days later, the flood waters came upon the earth. Rain fell on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and the waters increased and lifted the ark high above the earth. Every living thing that moved on the earth perished birds, livestock, wild animals, and all the creatures that swarm over the earth and all mankind. Only Noah and those with him in the ark remained alive. The waters flooded the earth for a 150 days, but God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and livestock with him in the ark and he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters receded. After sending out a raven and then a dove to find out if the water had receded from the surface of the ground, Noah eventually learned that the earth was dry. God's Covenant with Noah Noah built an altar to the Lord, and taking some of all the clean animals and clean birds, sacrificed burnt offerings on it. The Lord smelled the pleasing aroma and said in his heart that he would never again curse the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. God promised never again to destroy all living creatures as he had done with the flood. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, telling them to be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. God established a covenant with Noah and his descendants and with every living creature that was with him. The sign of this covenant was the rainbow in the clouds, which God set as a sign of the promise that the waters would never again become a flood to destroy all life. 
The story of Noah and the ark is one of the best known narratives in the Bible. It has been subject to various interpretations and is a source of religious and moral instruction. The tale is often seen as a metaphor for salvation and a precursor to the concept of baptism. It highlights themes of divine justice, human sin, grace and redemption, and emphasizes the relationship between God, humanity and the created order.